Hey guys, today I want to do something entirely different. I will show you a cha-cha routine. Something that you can do in a small space, you don't need a partner for it. And I want to take you out of this, this set mindset of, oh, I need to practice for the next three months until I have these steps down. I would like you to just get used to the habit or at least try to um, get familiar with the habit of, of doing something actually very quickly and getting the idea out of your mind that it has to be perfect and then maybe get the idea in your mind that yes you can do a couple of new things at the same time today is not about being perfect whatsoever even if i show you a step and we do it on time and you didn't catch it it's totally okay your challenge is keep dancing and fulfill it with something and then catch up to me again okay and by fulfilling i mean you know i mean improvise yeah so improvisation in that way means you're not stopping to dance you don't lose your energy you don't use your performance you don't use your your center whatever you're doing you don't just uh, give up and roll your eyes and show everybody oh, i just made a mistake that's what i want to try and teach you today okay all right so let's get going and i also while i'm going to teach you the routine it's very simple couple of parts just backward and forward in the room because we all don't have so much space right now um, so while we're doing that, I will also give you a little bit of technical information, just like some big pointers of what I see out there, what hits my eye. And uh, okay, so on we go. Um, if you can, if you have the power, get off. I, I invite you to get off the couch and join me and let's just get going, okay? So what we're going to do, we're just going to start. Um, with a back basic, okay, with our right foot, we're gonna make a back basic, and then we're gonna go in a, in a lock step forward with the right foot. We go cha cha cha, and then we're gonna go two Cuban breaks two and three and four, and we step back, okay. Very quickly, one more time, we start on the right foot, here we go, and we go up, we're gonna go backwards, we're gonna go back replace we're gonna go cha 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 we're gonna go two and three and four and we're gonna step back we're gonna spiral around and we do a three-step turn one two three and we're gonna go into a sit okay that's how we're gonna end up back to where we came from and then we're gonna take a minute like a little uh, a, a split second of a, of, of a rest because then all we're gonna do is a hip roll. So this is gonna be your resting part, okay? All right, let's try that again one more time from the beginning. We're gonna have our right foot forward, we make a back basic, we go back, we place, we go cha-cha, one, Cuban breaks, two and four, and spiral, three step turn back, sit, and then we're gonna make a hip roll forward and back, okay? All right, one more time. Try again, a little bit faster. We're gonna go two, three, cha-cha, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, one. Okay, one more time. One more time, one more time, one more time. Ready, and two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, one. Okay, good. All right, so what I want you guys to focus on, I want you guys to focus to keep your knees closed in the lockstep. I see a lot of locksteps out there and what I really see is what I call a cheese hole, Swiss cheese. I'm Austrian, that's very close to Switzerland, you know, Swiss Alps, Swiss cheese has holes in it and we don't wanna see it. We don't wanna see it in the cha-cha, okay? So what I would like you guys to do in a cha-cha lockstep Make sure you have a beautiful Latin cross here with knees closed. Hello, Summer. <laughs> with knees closed, okay? And then you're gonna get out of that beautifully. And then again, we're gonna pass the feet. My knees pass each other. We're gonna go in a Cuban break. My knees close again. I see a lot of Cuban breaks like that. I'd like to not see the Swiss cheese hole here. I wanna close my knees. And then I want to close my knees again and I want to pass my feet, okay? And here also, 
I don't want to be wide open here. I want to make sure I step behind in what we call a fifth position. So the, the, the heel meets the toe and this is how I can then sit down. And then I can just rebound my gravity center from the front to the back foot, okay? All right, let's try that one more time. No Swiss cheese hops, okay? And two, three, cha cha, one, two and three and four and one, two and three, four, one. So that's already part one. It was quite simple, was it? All right, so now out of our little hip rebound. And there's something more I wanna show you about the hip rebound. Uh, we're gonna have a few situations today where we're gonna have uh, this rebound. And um, if, you, if you watched my last lecture, I talked a lot about the gravity center. Um, please do rewatch it. If you, if you didn't see it, um, check out what the gravity center is. Check out what the center of levitation is. This is really what we need today. Um, so when I do something like a hip roll to make this look like there's a full movement there, okay? Um, Cha-Cha is very directional. Actually, all dances are very directional, but Cha-Cha in particular. So if I don't direct my gravity center and direct it back, it's just empty. It's just, it, it's just a wiggle, yeah? There's a difference between a hip roll where I take my gravity center and I shift it from my standing leg forward and then I take my front toe, which is high on the toe here, on the inside edge of the toe, and then I take this and I just bounce it back, yeah? I just bounce it back and that sends my hip into that hip roll. But if that gravity center doesn't move forward and it becomes a rebound to come back, then it becomes a, what I call an empty movement, okay? So let's try, even so it will be lightning speed afterwards, let's try just to keep that in mind that this becomes a rebound action and this doesn't become just a wiggle, okay? All right, let's try one more time from the beginning. We have a two, three, cha-cha, one, two and three and four and one, two and three, four, one, okay? So, good, very good, very good. Let's try a little bit faster, a little bit faster, ready? And two, three, cha cha, one, two and three and four and one, two and three, four, one, good. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a three-step turn, okay? So we're gonna turn um, to the left, we're gonna go one, two, three, okay? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do another Cuban break action across my foot forward. Across my foot, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue with a ronde. I go behind, then we have a Latin cross again. Close, side, good. Then I'm gonna take my left foot, I'm gonna continue with my left foot past my right foot. I come forward all the way over the left foot, I switch my direction and back I go with a three-step turn. One, two, three. And then we're gonna have a series of batucadas that I'm gonna elaborate on in a second, okay? All right, so let's try just from this little sit here in the back um, where we have our little rebound with the hip. Three-step turn, ronde chasses. Gonna be a few of those today and um, a little switch in the three-step turn, okay? So we're back here. We're gonna go into a hip roll with the rebound. We're gonna go into a three-step turn. We're gonna go into a check. We're gonna go into a ronde, chasse to the side. We're gonna make the action forward. We're gonna switch, okay? And then we're gonna go forward, close, back. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Still with me? Is still got you? Yeah? Okay. Remember, we have to do this quick today. That's the whole purpose of the exercise. I know half of you guys are now going, stop, stop, not so fast. I need another 500 times. That's the whole purpose. Let's try it and just keep it up. Let's just keep it going and let's learn things. Let's try and learn things fast. You know, funny story. Um, you all know Dima from Borum Backstage. So when Dima and I danced together, 
he's a very creative person, of course he is, but he's very creative and he comes up with an idea like this and this and this and let's do this and this and this and this and this. And he does that literally 10 minutes before we go out and dance. So 10 minutes before I go out and dance, like everything changes. So for me, this was quite unsettling. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, that, that, that's not my routine. I'm like, okay, well, very quickly I learned, okay, whatever it is, that's my routine now, okay? And I have to fill it in, follow, like react to it, respond to it, and just don't worry about it. Because, you know, that was the person I was dancing with. That's, that's how the thing worked. And you know, it made me a better dancer. It made me so much a better dancer. As much as I cursed about it at the time, it, it, it really made, I have, to, I have to admit it, it did make me a better dancer. So that experience, I can replicate it right now, but I wanna try and replicate it just so that you come out of this funk of just knowing your one thing and your one routine and you are like embracing this, this creativity or this responsiveness that you need to learn. So, you know, um, it's kind of um, the same thing when you, when you learn lines for acting. The first time you learn it's like, oh my God, there's so many lines and you just try and get the words and then you do it over and over again and then you, you get in the habit of learning things so quickly. So you can also rehearse learning. You can rehearse the amount of time it will tell you or it will take you to absorb something and you will get much quicker. So while I'm still not the quickest person to learn something, I'm a person, I feel I just need a little bit more time. There are people out there who have literally photographic memory when it comes to memorizing a routine. I can see it and do it right away. I'm not one of these people, but just by that experience or by that kind of training, you know, it, it, it bounced me out of so many things and it, it truly made me better and it also made me better to to respond in an instant to a situation. So take it to heart and try, okay? And that's the fun of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just rehearsing it. That also is a part of dancing that you need to rehearse. Same like your, uh, you know, your story, your character. Um, people always forget that this is something that has to be thought through and that you have to rehearse. So that spontaneity on the dance floor, you also have to rehearse. That fearlessness of filling something in, of finding movements that are yours that you can basically do on the spot and respond to it, that's a skill. That's a skill and this is a way how you can try and, and, and do it, okay? All right, so where was I in my routine? Okay, all right, so we are back at where we have to sit. My cat is wanting to dance with me today. Hey, Sama. You want to do the cha-cha with me? All right. Okay, let her do the cha-cha with me. She's great at it. Okay. So, um, we're having this little sit position. We're having our rebound. We're having our three-step turn. We're going to have our check, ronde. Yeah. We're going to have our direct movement forward. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take the left hip cheek and we're going to turn it the other way. That gives us the quick change of direction and we're gonna continue with a three-step turn, okay? All right, good. So let's try that a little bit faster. So we're back here in our sit with two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, okay? All right, good. One more time and then we're gonna put those two parts together. All right, ready? So we're gonna have our little sit here and four, one, jump, bum, bum, jump, two, jump, bum, bum, step, switch, three step, turn. Okay, good. All right, so let's put those two parts together. All right, from the very beginning, can you still remember? You with me? Yeah? All right, from the very beginning. And we have two, three, cha, cha, cha. Cuban breaks and Cuban spiral. Da ba bam. Four, one. Three step turn. Check. Ronde. Cha cha cha. Step turn. Three step turn. Did you get it? If not, did you try? Did you make up your own thing? If yes, good. That was great. Okay. All right. Let's try again. Let's try again. One more time. 
from the beginning. Oh my god, I'm getting to the end so much. Oh, whew, haven't done that in a while. And two, three, cha cha, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, 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 one, two, and three, but we can also take it into the into the cha cha. It's a batukara, okay? So batukara is this little, very quick backwards movement with those hip wiggles that you do. If I describe it very, very funny, okay? But wiggling is actually not my favorite word because I really don't want you to wiggle. I actually would like you to always, and even if it's so little work with your gravity center and rebound your gravity center, okay? So this is the batukara. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our left leg, we're gonna pass it by, and we're gonna step back and turn the back heel out so that actually my whole hip is getting rotated behind. So you see my front foot is high on the toe, and then all I do is like I send my gravity center forward towards that toe, whom and rebound it, which sends my hip into like a, a half a figure of eight, like one of these Mickey Mouse ears, whoop, sends it backwards. Then I make another step and I send my gravity center and rebound it. I make another step, I send my gravity center and rebound it. Another step, I send my gravity center and rebound it. If I don't send my gravity center and rebound it, it just becomes a wiggling thing, yeah? That would be an empty wiggling thing. So if I go boom, 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 that's just wiggling, yeah? What I need is a rebound, okay? So let's try that. Let's try that slowly for all of you who've maybe not done batukaras yet. It's a very fun step. Once you got the hang of it, um, it's real fun. Um, so you're gonna step behind, rebound, behind, chip, chip. Behind, rebound, behind, tuk tuk. Okay, all right. Let's try that a little bit faster. We're going to go one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and a. Okay, one and a two and a three and a. Let's try again. And one and a two and a three and a four and a six. Okay, all right. So. Obviously, if we choose to take this step into cha-cha, it's lightning speed, okay? So, for all of you guys, hold your horses. I really don't want to overwhelm you. I want to challenge you. I don't want to overwhelm you. So if that the rebound situation is a little bit too much, just step back. Just go back, 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 back. Just steps backward, okay? And try and always rotate, rotate, rotate around your spine. Remember, cha cha rotates, 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 rotates around your spine. Okay? So let's just try that. For everybody else, let's try batukadas. And one and a two and a three and a four and a, and a two. Here we go. Very good. All right. So now, the way we're going to put it into our routine, um, we had our check, we had our ronde. Um, and now we are stepping on the left foot forward. We have our switch. We have a three-step turn. Yeah. And then right away with the left foot, we're gonna go chick ba ba chick chick da da da. Okay. Into our batukaras. All right. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Left foot goes forward. I'm gonna switch my hips. Whoop. I'm gonna turn around. Back and. Boom. Okay, four of them. All right, let's try that from the beginning up to here. All right, here we go. So we go basic and back basic. Two, three, cha cha. One, two and three and four and one, two and three, four. Boom. Two and three, down. Two, da ka ba, step, switch, da ba ba, da 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 da, boom. 
Okay? One more time from the beginning. And two, bam, cha cha, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, one. Bam, bam, da, chu, da, ka. Step, switch, bam, bam, ya, ka, da, 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 boom. Okay, very good, very good. All right, you still got it? You still with me? Yeah? You improvising already? <laughs> okay, I, I still have to think and memorize, you know? My own routine that I just made. <laughs> okay, so from here, let's do something fun, okay? Um, let's take a little rhythmical section, okay? So right now, we are all stuck back there. We just did our fast patu cutters. And let's keep coming forward fast and very rhythmically. So what I want you to do is like make little hip bumps. So we are ending up on our right foot back. And now I want you to take your left foot forward. And I want you to just like change your hip up. Put your hip up and put your hip down. And you see, um, basically all I'm doing here is I take my, my butt cheek, my left butt cheek and I turn it up and I turn it down. So, boom, 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 boom. I just basically turn it around, whoop, and turn it back. Boom, 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 and I will skip underneath, down. Okay, so make your version out of it. Make your jam out of it, whatever this is, you know. But let's make a little rhythmic section that comes forward. So once you're here, we're gonna go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So eight of those. So make your little rhythm section. I'm using my left foot first. And um, do your jam. Go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay? All right. Let's put that in. Let's go from the part where we are forward over the left foot. Okay, so we're forward over the left foot, boom, we're gonna switch up. Huh. And going back, but you cut. Ya da 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 bam, bam, down, bam, three and four. And we're gonna go back again. Okay? So you see I'm always moving towards you, moving back, moving towards you, moving back. Not much space, but we're getting a lot of fun little exercises. And also, um, you know, no matter if you're, if you're maybe not as advanced and all of this is a little bit too quick and too much, just take one little piece. Nobody says right now you need to know everything. There's really no pressure. We're just trying to, you know, develop and do things, okay? So there's no pressure that you must know every little detail now and do the whole thing and do it on time. Even if you learn a little bit of it and get an experience from it, that's fine with me, that's okay. Maybe if you're more advanced and this is something, you know, you can do right away. Um, you see how I'm already out of breath. I mean, obviously, I'm retired. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing this anymore. So yeah, I'm starting to sweat here for you guys. And um, you know, what I know that will do for you guys. Um, so I'm starting to sweat here and I'm starting to get a little bit <gasps> winded. So, you know, that can happen if I'm a competitor. I shouldn't get that winded. So you competitors out there, you can use that to dance it on music and really, you know, there's a lot of changes in direction in there. You dance that, you try to do that like for a minute or a minute and a half on time with the music, it's, it's you know, it's gonna practice your stamina. So um, that's another thing you can do with it. And also, there's a few things that are really important for me in Cha Cha. Once for sure is the timing, you know, cha cha, um, the count number one and three, they're accentuated. So I really want to see that. And, you know, that's something we could all of us, you know, just focus on and, and put into, into, the, in, into our practice. So we can try and um, just focus on the one and the three and make sure we are like fully extending over at the end, at, at the end of each movement maximize it out, maximize the beat. If it's a charge is very quick, let's go to the maximum. That's usually what you do slowly and then try and do it 
faster but today you know actually we have to do everything at once we have to try everything so the second thing that's really important to me that I see in cha cha a lot that I really don't want to see is if your center is really not engaged at all and not working and there's a lot of arms and legs flying around trying to go places yeah your movement in cha cha has to be very direct it has to be very clear which direction i'm going and these directions are switching very very fast and very quickly so i have to be very versatile and very rehearsed in my basics yeah so again look at my lecture that i did before when i'm getting uh, explaining the gravity center center of levitation um, and you have to direct it from your standing leg it's either a forward motion, yeah, or it's a directly to the sidewards motion. What it's not, it's like not something that just flies around, you know, and I'm just waving here with my head like a palm tree in the wind. I'm actually pretty centered and I'm going like really like with purpose into my direction, with purpose into my direction, with purpose into my direction, with purpose, into my direction. With purpose I switch with purpose I'm going into my direction so that I'm trying to really use like my gravity center has to move has to keep moving and I have to be very clear in which direction and I have to take it from my standing leg so you will feel a lot of work will be done with changes of direction where the heel is actually like swiveling and helping you like here for example boom like helping you to get into your into your next direction you know so if you if you keep the stand, center steady and unengaged and just move your arms and your legs around it it's going to defeat the purpose you're going to have to learn how to direct yeah your gravity center and your spine your spine and your gravity center has to have a purposeful direction okay all right so that's important to me too just let it marinate in your brains and the last but not least, one of my favorite subjects ever is some um, story and character actually. And the story and character of Cha Cha is a talk. It's a flirtatious talk uh, with all the fieriness that can be in there. Um, so imagine like you're in a bar and um, you're just, uh, you know, meeting somebody and it's like a fun, like not serious it's a fun flirtatious little chit chat little band of back and forth so it's you can put a lot of character in there and a lot of personality and you can really develop a really you know good story and a good performance out of that and that's a whole subject that i'm actually really excited about okay so for right now having said all that obviously i want everything right now everything okay let's try from the very beginning one more time Okay, the whole thing, here we go. We're gonna go rock, step, cha, 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 da, ba, yam, ba, 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 chu, hip, roll, three, step, turn, here we go, cha, ba, ba, step, switch, and back, ba, chu, ka, ba, ba, hip, hip, ta, da, 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 ba, ba, okay? All right, all right, so far so good. Let's try that one more time. Okay, you with me? Ready? Five, six, seven, go and one, two, and three, and two, one, two, and three, and da, da, boom, da, da, boom, da, 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 Let's go from there. Um, we had our, li our little rhythm group here, okay? So we have four of them forwards. We're gonna go one time double, two time double, three time double, four time, and then we rebound again, spiral again, and then we just make two steps. A walk, a forward walk turn, swoop, into a cha-cha lock step backward. So this time no three step turn, just two walks, one of them a forward walk turn, okay? So we're coming out of the last one here, bam, bam, 
we rebound into a spiral, we make a step, a forward walk turn, into a cha cha lock step backward. Okay? And then again, because maybe you want to get stamina up, let's keep it fast. Let's just make little switches, little rebounds. Okay? So we're just going to go back, forward, back, forward. Little rebound actions there. Whoop, bam, 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 bam. Much like the batukas, okay? Little rebound action, okay? All right. Um, okay. So let's try that again. Let's try it actually from when I'm on my left foot forward, I'm going to turn back into my batukas and then into my four little rhythm steps forward. So I'm stepping forward on my left foot, switch around, I'm going to turn around, back, yaga da, 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 and attack. Boom. Da, 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 ba, 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 da, cha, 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 da, ka, da, ka, ba, ba, ba. Okay? All right, good. One more time. From my left foot forward, I'm going to go forward, I'm going to switch, three step turn, yagada, dagada, dagada, ba, da, ba, chuk, chuk, ba, 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 cha, cha, boom. Okay? All right. All right. From the very beginning. Okay, here we go, making sure I don't trip over anything. Ha, huh. okay. Cat is out of the way. Hey, everything's good. Everything's fine. Okay, from the beginning. From the very, very beginning. And rock, step, cha cha, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, boom, boom. Take step, turn, check, run, de, ta, ba, step, switch, three step, turn, yaga, da, 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 boom. Boom, cha, cha, bam, 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 cha, 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 yep, pa, 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 boom. Whew. Okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Okay. So there's really just like a little ending to it. Um. So I went out of my tukka, 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 boom. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to check again. I'm going to do another run day. Shoom. I'm going to go cross behind my leg and cross. Close side on the chassis. I'll make a back step. I'll make a twist chassis. Twist chassis. Boom. Bam. Bam. I'm going to go forward, replace, and a slip chassis. Yum. Bam. 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 And then I'm ready to start again. My lock step forward, my two Cuban breaks, and so on. Okay? I love these chassis exercises, you know? Run the chassis, twist chassis, slip chassis, because those exercises are actually excellent, excellent, excellent for teaching you this directional movement that I was um, that I was talking about. And then you can really refine whether you know your center is still and just your legs are going around you or whether you actually maneuver all these changes of direction and your center is actually directing every time into the correct, um, towards the correct foot, okay? So that is a, for, uh, one of my favorite, favorite exercises for cha-cha. Those three slip chassis, twist chassis and run the chassis. Put the music on, do just those. You're going to sweat <laughs> and also you will really learn your direction. You will really learn how to move off your standing leg, your rotations, your positions. There's so much information in it. Um, yeah, lots, lots, lots of goodies in there. Okay, so again, where are we? Um, yeah, we came out with our little ribbon group. Ba -ba -ba, two, three, four and turn around. And cha cha cha, little flicks, three, bam, bam, run the choo, da bam, bam, rock, step, twist chasse, bam, bam, 
slip chasse, bam, bam, and chop, chop forward again. Okay, good. All right, let's try to put it all together from the very beginning, okay? Slowly, a little bit, but you know, today is not the part, the day where we want to think. Today is, the, today is a doing day, okay? Away from thinking, today is a doing. A great teacher of mine told me once, Babette, while you keep thinking about something, three girls have already done it without knowing how that works. I'm like, oh, okay, so today is the day where we're going to combat that. I'll never forget that lesson. You know who you are. And two, three, cha cha cha, two and three and four and one, two and three, pada, three step turn, check, run, step, switch, three step turn, yagada, dagada, dagada, and boom, 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 three and four, ba, 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 ya, cha cha, one, two and three and four and one, two, three, cha cha cha, two, twist, ta ta, bam, 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 yum, bam, bam, whoop, bam, cha cha, my god, whoop, <laughs> I'm sweating, <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting a workout here, guys, I'm actually, yeah, huh, my god, I'm having a good time, do you guys have a good time? I'm having a good time, okay, one more time, Last time for the day, okay? Let's try to put the whole thing together. As good as we can, no judgment, have fun, sweat it out, try your best. Let's go for it, ready? One, two, three, cha-cha, boom. Two, three, cha-cha, one. ta ka ba ka ya Two and three, whoo. Two and three, ta choo bum bum step. Switch, bam bam, yada da 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 da, boom, boom, da 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 da, yeah. Step, turn, cha cha, one, two and three and four and one, two, three, cha cha, two, three, cha one, two, three, yep, boom, two, three and cha cha, ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so I, I guess I gave you a lot of homework. So if you guys want, try practice it. Send me your routine. I'd love to see it. Make it yours. Put your own flair on it. You know, make your own thing out of it. Put it on your own music. Um, and, you know, send it to us. So we'd love to see what comes out. And, huh, I'm gonna have to recover. <laughs> you know, I had a great time dancing with you guys. It was great, it was good for me, it was good for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me here. You know, um, sometimes doing rather than thinking is a good idea, especially if we're in a situation right now, we start to think and think and think and think and then boom, we overthink and everything becomes a mess. So let's just not think, let's just do. Have a great time, stay safe, and thanks for joining me.